Dearly, when we met as a board, the board could not get me reason. That's what I have done. They know I'm a man who works above board. I'm a person who, of integrity. So ideally, there is no issue which could figure on me. So ideally, after discussion, then uh, uh, they were trying to push me and to tell me probably you can design or something like that. But I told them, uh, the brother give me some time to go and engage with the farmers so that we can tell them the issues which are there. The issue of interest is the kind of money which is being able to be generated by KTD for our farmers. It has been increasing over time and we are projecting it is going to be increased even in the future. And that's why I always collaborate with the government, unlike the other previous leaders who are not even collaborating with the government. For me, we have been working closely together with the current and even the previous regime where we are working with. So ideally, uh, I thought we needed to do an intervention and that's why I proceeded to court, tell the court the issues I'm about to be removed from office without the due process. And I think the court granted that order on the date of the 12th and they were saying that a stay order and injunction was given to protect the farmer. It is actually not protecting him, it's protecting the farmer and also protecting the company secretary, our group uh, CEO our, and our board from the intervention from the external. According to the um, legal review uh, of Wajogona and Wajogona in the year 1999 and 2000, it was said you cannot intervene with a private company from external forces without uh, going through the proper process. So we would like to call for negotiation uh, amongst ourselves and the stakeholders so that we deal with the issue without personalizing people. This has become now the war of the region between Kiambu, Zijui Nyeri, Zijui Kirinyanga and all that. We don't have to go in that direction. We are committed, we are working together with all the, all the farmers and we will continue working with our farmers to ensure that we are able to resolve the issues. For now, I want to tell the farmers uh, the intervention which you need to be done by removing our leaders who have been experienced and work together is going to affect the income going forward. And that's why we have said we must have a conversation with all the leaders and we want to ask our minister, Honorable Intuli, to intervene in this small crisis which is coming up, cropping up, so that we can resolve the issues and move forward. I don't think there is anybody who is hiding anything. I'm quite disturbed when I see false reports being led across the media. Particularly, there's one issue has, has been isolated, that the board members have been traveling outside the country for about 36 times uh, in the last two, 23 months. That is factually long. It is not correct. That is incorrect information. And I have the data which shows that our director has traveled between 8 to 13 times. And they have gone on uh, missions to do trade. They have been going to do marketing. They have gone for conference. They have gone to a symposium. All these activities are actually budgeted for and budgeted for. And we have actually been performing below even the budget that has been set aside. So I want to ask our public officer, particularly to ensure that the information which is coming through our leaders are accurate, so that we don't give the wrong information. We need to respect our leaders and they must give the right information so that they don't uh, cause disquiet amongst our farmers.